and there's the paint so we'll be getting on that soon tomorrow morning took forever to get this paint I stopped by I told them what I wanted and I bought it there before a couple of times I said it's in the computer so I go goof around town taking my time come back well it wasn't in the computer no more so I couldn't remember the name of the tan stuff tan color so hopefully it's close or it's the same but all my old cans I can't read it because there's paint all over it so hopefully that's close enough at least it's in the back of the house so we're gonna do that in the morning I didn't even get home until close to noon and then by then it was just way too hot and let me show you what else I got all right I gotta go give the chickens some water they get water twice a day in this heat get past this noisy air conditioner guys keep spinning you keep spinning you Right. Ooh, it is still roasting out here, man. I mean. So anyway, I went to town pretty early this morning. I stopped in. Like I said, I was going to get the paint. Thought it was stored in their computer on their paint machine, but apparently it was not. And, uh, turkey around. But anyway... I had to go through them little cards again. I need to wash these bowls out tomorrow morning. I usually wash them about every three days in this heat. And chickens like, they don't like warm water. So that's why they're getting, come on guys, look what they got earlier today. Yeah, another watermelon. And these bowls are pretty handy to hang on the fence. We use these at the ranch. Uh, on most of the pins and we take the lick tubs and cut the bottoms off and use those uh, where we had a lot of chickens so those work out well and you just want to make sure especially if you're using welded wire that's square you want to make sure your rooster doesn't have a big enough comb or hen hens can have combs that they get stuck in the fence these guys are good you guys demolish that watermelon yeah, your comb's getting pretty big too. And uh, we used to cut their combs off. I, that's another story, but they can be trimmed off. But you better know what you're doing before you attempt something like that. Hens, they don't get bothered with. All right, they're fed. Let's go in here. What are you doing, Levy? You eating your supper? Yeah, you got some good shade right now. Well, look who we got here. Tilly Tellerson. I bet you ate all your supper. Let's go check. You've been digging in this trash box, ain't you? Yeah, you get them. She gets the jugs out and chews on. She's starting to get a lot more comfortable. She's, uh, she tried to get Rooster to play yesterday. I got a video clip of that that I took last night. I'll put it on. Well, look at there. You got duck and chicken mixed in with your dry yeah I gave her a flea pill or a next guard today so you shouldn't be itching much longer girl all right see what I mean about this bowing I just don't like the look of this stuff front don't look so bad but this <laughs> I don't know if the wood is shrinking because I know when I cut this stuff it was perfectly across not anymore looks awful so I mean, I've got enough to make new ones, but I'm gonna wait till it's cooler. I mean, it ain't so bad in the front. Don't start barking at me again. Every time I wear this hat, she's got to bark at me. Oh, music, music, music. I'm gonna cut this center out here. So on both sides, that'll look a lot better. All right, guys, forgot about the radio again. This is getting to be bad. Blah, 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 no copyright. Oh. All right. That was not bowed like that when I put it in. And I'm thinking I'm probably going to leave it. I may just cut a piece to go from there to there. 
the piece to go from there to there and it'll pull that out uh, yeah like I said I get back till almost noon got a lot of things taken care of uh, I stopped by to check on the progress of my new truck and he's got the wheels off working on the brakes from there it goes to the muffler shop they're gonna put the catalytic converters on it uh, do a front end alignment might as well I'm putting new tires on it so want to make sure it's aligned good and they're the only one in town that does it uh, the story on the truck is it's a friend of mine's uncle has a construction company his uncle I actually work for him he owns the mechanic shop and this truck was stolen it was like an inside job and the guy took it and he took it up into Missouri and kind of ran it into a ditch didn't really damage anything on the front end except for the little skirt that goes underneath I, I got a new one of them and uh, but it's only got it just turned 70,000 miles and it's a 2012 model four-wheel drive f-250 yeah that's a gas guzzler but I need something like that to haul things I'm not gonna drive it all the time I still get my Chevy we're gonna put that in the shop as soon as that one comes out it needs uh, transmission work clutch work other than that it runs great so the problem is parts are on back order been having a hell of a time getting tires and parts he's about got them all but he's older than me his shop is not air conditioned and it's kicking his butt so I told him hey man just work safe don't get in no hurry I'm in no rush for it. I waited a couple of months already so I should be getting out here pretty soon and going here I know I keep doing the same thing over and over on my videos but they like being in the movies don't you all right let me turn your fan light on turn the fan off and I've got to get in here you guys just keep scratching and bringing more fur so I was at the hardware store today pricing about anything I could to go on these walls the quarter inch or the yeah the real quarter inch plywood $27 a sheet not happening everything else he showed me was super expensive so I hate hate to do it but I'm gonna put sheetrock up I hate sheetrock it reminds me of the city yeah you walk into any house or apartment in the city what do you got sheetrock I hate it but it's good insulator and then I'll get cedar and put it probably over that later the sheet rocks only $16 I believe for sheet and I don't know if you, it usually comes in two sheets but I think it's still $16 a sheet which is still high but it's the cheapest route I ain't gonna tape it well I may tape it but I ain't put no joint compound or any of that garbage because something's gonna go over it and uh, so I'll probably get some of that there's no really no rush why don't I get the rest of this insulated you know anyway so nothing didn't pick up nothing for that today who do you think Waldo Lily you camera shy yeah not this boy oh. Oh. let's get him around oh. Oh. <laughs> all right guys I'm gonna leave your air conditioner on a couple more hours and we gotta save oh that is another thing that happened today. Let me get out of here, turn the fan back on. Uh, I had recently helped somebody out with an electric bill. I'm not going to mention who it is. And I went to check mine because I didn't get a bill. And I went to check mine today online. I got a $200 credit. It was the deposit that I put down eight years ago <laughs> on this place because I never paid that bill on time. So you have to go like a whole year without paying with paying your bill on on time. And I guess I finally did it, but I thought that was pretty cool. So that's one thing that you know you help somebody it comes back to you, man. And you know, so that that was cool. So that's one bill I won't have this year. And I picked up, I know this is a boring video guys, picked up some rollers, I guarantee you there's a whole bunch of these in the shed. I'm not going in no shed. 
Might need some brushes. Some more screws. Picks, clips, whatnot. So the idea is this stuff's gonna be black. All the trim around the windows is gonna be black. The sills everywhere. This wall is gonna be the same tan color. I hope, I hope they matched it as what's on the rest of the house. The ceiling, I'm not leaving it like that. I'm leaving it like that so I can, and I'm gonna drill some holes for my electrical. All I'm doing for electrical is I'm coming out of there, I'm going up through here. I'm gonna have a ceiling fan right there. So I'll get that in place. I already got to pick those, those up too. I think they're in my toolbox, my truck. And then I'm gonna run one outlet straight down. Nothing fancy, and that's it. I'm not putting in a CFI. I don't think it's ever going to get wet in here, so there's no need for that. I know some of you are like, that's not code. We ain't got no code. But I, I was in here the other day in the rain. Nothing's leaking. And some of these ain't even screwed down yet. But I'm going to take some of that shiny corrugated tin that I have on my kitchen ceiling, and that's going to go across these bottoms and I'm either going cedar up here or with that tin I think the tin and I may insulate it in maybe that thin stuff just to deaden the sound of that rain on this thing because man of course it probably will not need that and the reason for that is there's a deck right above it and that's gonna break all the force of the rain so it's it's just going to trickle down on it here. And for those of you who haven't watched the build, let me show you what I mean there. The deck is up there. I haven't got it on yet. And the idea is it drips through the slats. The only way you could really design it with the shape of this house. And then the rain hits this and comes off. Right now, there's nothing blocking that rain. It's hitting it dead on. And, uh, yeah, but I haven't even got this passing down yet. Yeah, this was the last sheet I put on. It's still loose. I haven't put one screw in that. And uh, I'm coming out here in the morning. We're going to start on the painting. Getting some electrical run. That I can do the electrical and plumbing in a few hours. That's not going to be a big deal. Then I'm going to figure out what I'm gonna do here get this finished up all right guys just a another one of the same today uh, appreciate everybody hold bearing with me through the heat we'll get back on the project and next week don't look too bad for heat so I am hoping we we'll get a lot of work a lot of work done I and mean, we're supposed to get a, quite a bit of rain so all right, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, I would appreciate it if you would subscribe. Give me a like. Give me an unlike. I don't care. Happy trails. She don't want to play with you? That's the first time. Yeah, Tilly knows how to bark, don't she? The rooster will snap your head off, though, if you get too crazy. He wants to play, Rooster. Play the fence game with her. Play the fence game with her. Oh, she digging up your treats? They're not over there. Oh, he got a stick. He says, if you don't want to play, I'm taking my stick and going away. You haven't ate your milk bones from this morning. You're just sitting up there with Taggy and Red Devil Dog. Like you're just moping around. Wow. What's wrong with you? Yeah, you got brushed yesterday, didn't you? You like that. You like being brushed. Alright, Doodle. Well, Miss Tilly's trying to get to know all you guys. Yeah, go see Miss Tilly. Oh, oh, look at her and Rooster. They're oh, friends. Oh, yeah, oh, they make friends with her. Oh, yeah, go on. What are you doing, Tilly? Boy, 
You're right out there with Miss Wright. I thought I heard some commotion going on out here. Come on, get down here and see Kelly. Look at that. Come on, Lily. Waldo likes you. Yeah. Rooster, what do you think? You got a friend? Yeah, Tilly, your friend? Yeah. You gotta see Tilly every day. She never gets this close. She wants to be in here with Rooster so bad. Maybe. Maybe, maybe. We're working on it. That one there? I don't know. You're getting too hot, ain't you? She's going in to cool down for a while. Tilly, you hang out, okay? <laughs>